Hello, it's your buddy Ken here with a definitive answer from the FAA as to whether or not you can fly at night. I sent off two letters to my friends at the FAA, Rocky Davidson in Nashville and Johnny Victory in Memphis. And I asked them two questions. One, can you be a part 107 holder and a hobbyist simultaneously and flip back and forth? And two, can I get a definite answer on the whole flying at night thing? So let's shed a little bit of light <laughs> on this situation. <sighs> That's a lot better and a lot warmer, a lot brighter as well. So here we go. Let's find out once and for all from the good old FAA as to whether or not we can fly at night. As you know, government correspondence is very boring. So what I'm going to do is try to make it a little bit more interesting for you by reading different sections of their answers in different locations. So without further ado, here we go. Big Ken? Yeah! Ken, good morning! I hope all is well with you today. Your email states, having a definitive answer would be extremely helpful. I could not agree more. As you know, UAS is an ever-evolving process, and I want you to have the most accurate, up-to-date information. To that end, I have formulated a response, and I'm running it by the, in quotes, experts. Please note that as this subject area continues to evolve and mature, there may be revised or updated guidance. But here are the current answers to your three basic questions. Can a hobbyist fly at night? The short answer is yes. All right. <laughs> Does a hobbyist require a waiver to fly at night similar to a Part 107 holder? No, there is no rule associated with night flying for hobby or recreational flying, and therefore no ability or requirement to waiver anything. Ha! Ah. Can a remote pilot individual fly in accordance with the special rule for model aircraft when not operating for hire? Yes. An RPC holder, remote pilot certified, may do so when flying for hobby or recreational purposes that are not in furtherance of a business. Not in furtherance of a business. As your email alludes to, the public finds the information difficult to find. And when they do find it, it can be confusing. For example, the requirement, 14 CFR, 14 CFR 101A-5 Two, to fly within visual line of sight of the person operating the aircraft. Could lead one to conclude that flying at night would make this virtually impossible. Additionally, 14 CFR stipulates that aircraft flown for hobby or recreation must be operated in accordance with a community-based set of safety guidelines and within the programming of a nationwide community-based organization. One such organization is the Academy of Model Aeronautics, the AMA whose guidelines state night flying requires a lighting system that provides the pilot with a clear view of the model's altitude and orientation at all times. Handheld illumination systems by themselves are inadequate for night flying operations and must be supplemented with other lighting systems. However, having said this, I was advised that the short answer to non-Part 107 night flying is that it is not prohibited. That's kind of a double negative. That means it's okay. No ifs, ands, or, <laughs> you know. I hope you find these answers useful and look forward to hearing from you in the future should you have any further questions or inputs for us. Respectfully, Johnny C. Victory. Dear Ken, your questions to the Nashville FSDO were forwarded to the FAA Office of Communications and answered by the UAS Integration Office. Please attribute anything you use to the FAA or an FAA spokesperson. You got it. Of course, Part 107 holders must get a waiver to fly at night. But my question is, do hobbyists fall under the same criteria? If you're a licensed pilot, but you're not flying at the time for money, can you fly at night without a waiver? <laughs> 
Can a hobbyist that is not a commercial pilot fly at night? There are those who say that they can fly at night in accordance with special rule for model aircraft, public law 112-95 section 336. Section 336 does not specifically mention night flights. However, hobbyists must comply with all provisions of Section 336 Part 101 to conduct a model aircraft operation. These include the requirement to operate in accordance with a community-based set of safety guidelines and within the programming of a nationwide community-based organization. The most prominent but not the only set of safety guidelines, is the Academy of Model Aeronautics Safety Code. You should check with them to determine their guidance on night flying. Also, is it possible to be a Part 107 holder and still fly as a hobbyist, or does having a certification preclude one from being able to choose between the two? You can continue to operate as a hobbyist under Section 336 Part 101 and hold a Part 107 remote pilot certificate at the same time. Keep in mind, you can fly for both hobby and commercial purposes under Part 107. However, you cannot mix and match the requirements from one set of rules with those of the other. Additionally, if your hobby or recreational operation does not meet all the Section 336 Part 101 requirements, it must be conducted under Part 107. All right, here's my interpretation of what I think the FAA means by all of that. Uh, right now I'm flying as a hobbyist. As you can clearly see, I had to censor the drone so that you can't see it on my channel since it's monetized and it's what the FAA refers to as in furtherance of a business. Meaning if you're going to make money monetizing the channel, then you can't fly the drone at night and make money with it. Which is what I would be doing right now if I showed the footage, which I can't do, or if I showed the drone. So I can be a hobbyist, which I, I'm being right now, I'm flying at night, and a Part 107, which I'm also doing because of that censored block. Now, if I went over to my friend Zach here, hey Zach, and gave him the, the drone, uh, this is now your drone. Really? Yeah, yeah. And if he's flying it, at night as a hobbyist and I'm just filming him doing that now you can see the drone because I'm filming him being a hobbyist you get it you get it I hope that cleared things up for you a little bit to me there's a little bit of gray area still but as the laws and rules evolve one day one day it'll all be set in stone thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I really appreciate it until next time B and bye. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky, pigeon jerky, Cadillac of processed meat. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky, pigeon jerky.